Hello, Dr. J here. In this short video, I'm going to find the derivative of sine and cosine using Euler's formula. At least this video will maybe give you increased confidence in using Euler's formula. And we also know using trick books that the derivative of sine is a cosine and the derivative of a cosine is a minus sine, but sometimes it's hard to remember and you may not have a, a book nearby. Again, uh, we're going to use Euler's formula to show this. So here's Euler's formula that you'll encounter in signals and systems or digital signal processing or others some type of systems course. Here we have e to j omega t is equal to cosine omega t plus j sine omega t. Earlier videos I showed you that the cosine omega t is represented as a sum of complex exponentials and the sine omega t is represented as a complex exponential as well. So now we're going to take the derivative of cosine omega t substituting this relationship here into this derivative we have the following so the derivative exponential is just basically j omega times the same exponential so I factor out the j omega since it appears in both of these exponentials the complex exponentials then we have this relationship and then we multiply j divided by j because I want to get a 2j down here so I can use the sign. So when I do that, you can see that j times j is negative 1, which means that in substituting here the definition of the sign, we have minus omega sine omega t. I'll next do a similar process for the, taking the derivative of sine omega t, substituting the complex exponentials into the sign, what we have here, now we get the derivative of exponentials, and we saw that the derivative of exponential is just j omega times the same exponential. Factoring it out of j omega, we have e to the j omega t in this first term, and in the second term, we have a minus, minus, which makes that a plus, so we have e to the minus j omega t divided by two j's, but we see that the j's cancel out, and now we're left with omega cosine omega t. So hopefully these two examples uh, provide you more confidence in using Euler's formula as well as remember where the negative sign goes for when you take the derivative of a sine and a cosine. So this is just one example of using Euler's formula and I'll have another video dealing with trig identities. Thanks for watching. Signing off is Dr. J.